this belongs to you. He finally gives her the pencil, by Thank the way. Thank you. I've been looking everywhere for this. See how much time we could have saved if you just gave it to her right away? And they're off. I'll write to you, pen pal. Which is the closest thing you're going to get to a kissing scene because there are no kissing scenes in kids' movies. By the way, I love the 3D animation within the 2D objects. Is he okay? <laughs> oh, he's happy. You must feel pretty great being Charlie Brown right about now. You did it. Yeah, everyone's happy for Charlie Brown. And we get this ending because, of course, you can't have Charlie Brown without him missing the fucking football. Unless you're fucking Lucy and you love to do this to Charlie Brown. In three, two, one. Kick this ball all the way to the moon. And gullible. I forgot to mention gullible. But I feel better when I'm God, she's a fucking asshole. All right, so we get Charlie. We get the Peanuts characters from. Back when they were created to what they look like in the movie. And it's amazing how time flies and how technology works and all that. And blah, 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 blah. And you think this is the end of the movie. You, but then we get this scene. Yeah. Curse you, Red Parrot. And you think that's the end of the movie. However, after we get through all the credits, if you're still watching this movie by then. Which, by the way, you can see all the blue sky babies, too. Trust me. So, you see Charlie Brown hugging Snoopy. That's not what you want to stick around for the end to see. You wonder what happened to that red fucking plane. Well, it just sunk in the middle of the lake. Yeah, that's what you get. Along with this. The making and authorized distribution of this film supported over 12,000 jobs and involved over 1 million work hours. And we thank you for that. Especially seeing as how we need something like that given the circumstances. So that is the Peanuts movie. Yes, it's corny. It's got the usual bo boy chasing a girl plot. But... It does have the bits and pieces of the old Charlie Brown classics. And you get to relive the characters if you're an old generation. If you're a new generation that never grew up with the Peanuts, this is how you can get introduced to them. And it sends a very important message, which, given the circumstances of where we're at right now, I think is very, very important. It teaches kids to never, ever, ever give up. We keep fighting until the very end because if we do good things, good things will happen in return. And that's basically where we're at right now. I know these are strange and unusual times given the circumstances with the coronavirus. But if we keep doing our part and we keep fighting and we keep pursuing, we are going to beat this thing together. And so I hope you take this as a chance to learn some more of IOS. And while this is not the greatest movie in the world, this is by far far the perfect movie for this time that we're in and it's quite essentially good anytime when you get to see the peanuts so if you get a chance check out the peanuts movie i'm the commander xander i remember until then it sounds great good night too and neither should you